Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today what we're going to be taking a look at is how to take a slap shot. So the first point we're going to take a look at is going to be your stance. You're going to want to keep a nice athletic stance or a hockey stance while you're on the ice. That consists of keeping your skates or your legs roughly shoulder width apart. You're also going to want to keep your shoulders square to the ice, chest up and your head up so you can see what's happening around you. One of the most important points of the slap shot is going to be the knee bend, so make sure that you also have a nice knee bend. You want your knees roughly bent over the toe caps of your skates to make sure that you're going to have good control of your body while you're on the ice. In terms of the stick, of course, your top hand is going to be situated at the top. And in terms of if you're working out where to place your bottom hand, how far down the shaft of your stick, use the forearms trick, where you place your forearms just like this and grab the stick. But because we're taking a shot on the ice, you want to choke up just a little bit lower down. What this is going to allow you to do is utilize the flex in the stick, because with the slap shot, the way that you get the most power out of this shot is going to be from the flexing of the stick and also impacting the ice a few inches before the puck to be able to get the stick to flex. So you want your hand in the perfect position to be able to get the most power out of the stick. Another point to mention is make sure you have a nice tight grip on your bottom hand while you're taking a shot. This will give you much better control over the puck during the shot. So next we're going to be taking a look at the relation of where the puck is going to be in your hockey stance. Now there's a lot of people that will teach this slightly differently, but I'll explain why we do it the way we do it. I'd recommend having the puck a few inches in front of your front skate. The reason for that is because we said earlier on in the video, all of the power in this shot comes from impacting the ice before the puck, getting the stick to flex and unflex, generating the most power out of this shot. If you have the puck further back in your stance, there isn't enough space for you to hit the ice and get the stick to flex to generate a good amount of power. From there, we're going to be taking a look at the wind-up. Of course, this is another important part of the slap shot. You don't want to be going up too high, lifting the stick way up in the air because it will take you forever to get back down. And of course, you don't want to throw yourself off balance, which is what's going to happen if you throw the stick behind you. You want to keep it at shoulder height, which is going to give you plenty of enough space to take a nice wind-up. Now that we've covered the wind-up, we're also going to be taking a look at what your body's going to be doing in terms of where the weight's going to be inside your skates. Initially, when you're getting ready to take the shot, the weight's going to be in both of your skates. But as you start to wind up to get ready to take the shot, the weight's going to transfer from both of your skates to the skate furthest away from the goal. Now, as you get ready to take the shot and you lean into it and you bring the stick down from the wind up, the weight's going to slowly transfer from the skate furthest away from the goal to the skate closest to the goal. Also, while you're doing this, it's important to mention that you're going to be on your inside edges predominantly while you're taking the slap shot, and you also need to remember to utilize your inside edges. So as you're transferring the weight from your um, skate furthest from the goal to the skate closest to the goal you, and getting ready to strike the ice, you also want to be preparing yourself to use the skate furthest away from the goal around the inside edge to dig into the ice to help you generate that power and that push to be able to get the most momentum and power out of the slap shot. At the same time that you're doing this, you also want to remember to open your hips up and face towards the target to get the most momentum and power out of every shot that you take on the ice. A really important point about the slap shot is that you might think a lot of the bigger guys are the ones that have the bigger shots, but it's all about technique and not brute strength. So the more you practice this, the more you get these points down to a T, the more effective you'll be on the ice. So the last point we're gonna cover is gonna be the follow through. This is how you aim with the slap shot and control if it goes low or high. The general rule of thumb with the follow through with any of the shots on the ice is gonna be if you follow through low, the puck will go low. You follow through high, the puck will go high. So remember, although the slap shot is the most powerful shot on the ice, it's not the most accurate. A good in-game scenario for you to take a slap shot will be a D-man on the point, a lot of traffic in front of the net. He might have a bit of time to be able to wind up and take a nice slap shot. So it's a case of assessing the situation and figuring out if that's the best time to use the shot. Quick side note, guys. You might notice I'm finally wearing a hockey tutorial jersey. These are purely for support, 100% non-profit. If you want to pick one up, there'll be a link down below in the video description so you can buy one internationally. The link below will let you customize your own jersey. You can select which country you're from and add a flag to the top of the jersey. You can select your name and also your number. Link down below. As always, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and stay tuned until next time.